Welcome to the Daytona 500 for season number two of the AAPCS. Last time we were here for the 500, it was Ryan Blaney who took home the checkered flag for the first time in his AAPCS career. Now Joey Logano starting on pole this season's the season's Daytona 500 with the defending champion Kevin Harvick starting sixth today in the field. A couple of new faces here in this series, uh, starting here at the Daytona 500. We have a new full-time team, and that being Jones Motorsports. Uh, they have the car numbers 33, 53, 63, and 93. Uh, there are multiple, uh, four great drivers behind those wheels and the 93 driver is going to be part time let's take a look at your dr pepper wants to watch uh ryan blaney was daytona was a daytona winner last season looking for a good run today as he is starting fourth in this race joey logano starting on the pole today uh, he's he's shown to be a great threat at this race he almost won the the cup series Daytona 500 and Jimmy Johnson's last year in the AAPCS. He will be retiring after the rate after the championship race at Richmond. And the defending cups and the defending series champion for the AAPCS is Kevin Harvick. He's looking for a good run today. And let's get to your command. Drivers, start your engines. Drivers roll off in today's field. Let's get to your starting lineup for the Season 2 Daytona 500. Joey Logano starting on pole with Martin Trix Jr. to his outside. And we have Alex the Bowman Showman to the inside of last season's Daytona 500 with Ryan Blaney. Brad Keselowski to the inside of the defending series champion Kevin Harvick. In row 4, we have Denny Hamlin in, in the in, to the inside of... Defending 2020 Cup Champion, uh, uh, Chase Elliott. Final time, Jimmy Johnson in row 5 to the inside of Kyle Busch. And RCR teammates Tyler Reddick and Austin Dillon make up row 6. Rocket Man Ryan Newman in row 7 to the inside of Kurt Busch. Matt DiBenedetto to the inside of that Jones boy in row 8. And Clint Boya, who was also in his final season, to the inside of William Byron. In row 10, we have Bubba Wallace to the inside of Eric Almiroli. And we also have in row 11, Christopher Bell and Michael McDowell in row 11. And in row 12, we have Cole Custer and John Hunter Nemechek. And in row 13, we have Corey LaJoy to the inside of Chris Busher. Uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. to the inside of Ty Dillon, who will not be going back to that 13 car. And Ross Chastain in the 42 car this year, alongside Daniel Suarez in row uh, 15. Timmy Hill to the inside of Jason Collins in row 16. And Matt Tiff to the inside of Brendan Gaughan in row 17. And Josh Balicki to the inside of Theron Webb in row 18. The new Team Jones Motorsports has some good drivers in that uh, roster. As we have in row 19, Brendan Poole to the inside of Ryan Priest. Quinn Hoof to the inside of uh, Justin Haley. And Ryan Truex Jr. No, Ryan Truex, excuse me, to the inside of Rick Dean in row 21 and Austin Richards rounding out the field in row 22. The green flag is out at Daytona and it's underway at season number two. As you see Martin Truex Jr. falling back trying to find his Joe Gibbs teammates, uh, his Toyota teammates, as we have Team Penske leading the way and Hendrick in the middle it seems already. And Keselowski on the inside trying to get a, getting a push from Denny Hamlin. He's going to get the lead as Alex Bowman moving through the inside. He's going to take the lead getting the push from his teammate Chase Elliott as it's not going to be too much it's not going to be much of a push to keep too much momentum as it's going to be three wide throughout the pack already big plate racing already as we have an early crash Brendan Poole and Quinn Half make contact on the trioval let's see what happened 
So, oh, looks like Quinn Hauf uh, was trying to give a bit of a shove, a little bit of a extra push to Brendan Poole. It was Brendan Poole was not expecting it. He came down, hit uh, Corey LeJoy, and then bounced off the wall. Uh, well, Quinn Hauf bounced off the wall there, and then came down and collected, uh, oh, almost collected Ryan Shrex. Uh, but Brendan Poole and Quinn Hauf are going to be out of this race. But Ryan Shrex. And Corey LaJoy are both going to be able to repair that damage and will be going back under green with the field. Alex Bowman gained two positions here and Chase Elliott gaining six, Kozlowski gaining two. And we see Matt Bedadetto in 10th gained five positions. As we go back green here, Hendrick teammate side by side. Elliott's going to get a shove from Hamlin and he's going to go down and help his teammate Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman slams the door on Hamlin and Hamlin is in the sucker hole. Stuck in the middle is the Joe Gibbs uh, Toyota of Denny Hamlin as Team Hendricks as Team Hendrick goes one and three for a moment. As we have the Rocket Man Ryan Newman getting the push from Ryan Blaney. Elliot gets loose and Hendrick teammates are stuck in the middle. They're trying to get the momentum, trying to get that side drive. You can see Elliot wiggling back there as Ryan Newman and Ryan Blaney take off with the lead as Austin Dillon making up the third position. Here comes Brad Kozlowski with the side draft, getting the push from his teammate, Joey Logano. Kozlowski gets sideways. Newman's flipping into the catch fence. Big hit for Ryan Newman. Hard, heavy damage to the six machine of Ryan Newman. We see a replay here. So see, coming off of turn four, Kozlowski just got sideways and Newman flipping upside down and into the catch fence. Heavy nose damage and almost a fire, almost a fire broke out as the gas tank almost got caught in the catch fence. Luckily, no fire uh, sp like sparked out or anything, but it looks like uh, Blaney, uh, Blaney Bubba, along with Truex and Debidedetto all got involved late, it seems. Now oh, we're under the red flag here as a heavy hit for Ryan Newman. Big hit for the number six machine. Ryan Newman finished fifth in the last uh, season's Daytona 500, and we are under the red flag condition right now. And Joey Logano and Clint Boyer are will be restarting on the front row if we are able to get this uh, track cleaned up in time. And uh, you see the cleanup happening right now, and uh, Ryan Newman's window net is down. Uh, thankfully, he is okay. Uh, ambulance there. You can see the ambulance checking him out, uh, making sure that he is okay. You see Ryan Blaney and uh, uh, Martin Truex Jr. along with Matt DiBenedetto got involved late as Blaney was spinning through the grass. Had no time to move his car out of the way. And Bubba Wallace got involved late as well, but a heavy, heavy damage to Ryan Newman. He had, that is one of the hardest hits in the series by far. The nastiest hit that we have seen. And we can see all the cars involved as uh, Red Flag is being lifted. Kozlowski, Dylan, Newman, Reddick, Blaney, Truex, Matt DiBededo, and Bubba Wallace all involved in this crash and you can see the damage to the six car thankfully ryan newman is okay especially after his 2020 wreck and the red flag has been lifted joey logano and clint boyer will be restarting on the front row a lot of big um a lot of big moves for these guys a lot of uh spots gained by them as we're going to go to overtime here at daytona with two laps to go oh joey logano a little slow he's he's slow going down the pack stretch clint boyer is going to take the lead logano down to the apron he missed a shift or something something is wrong with that 22 machine as Stuart haas racing teammates are going to be going oh Custer spins, but we stay green here. We see teammates battling it out. Oh, teammates slide! They make contact through the grass. Johnson is involved. Almarola's to the lead. He's going to try to block the 88 machine. It's not going to be enough. Side by side, beating and banging. And it's going to be a photo finish at the line. Chaos in the final lap at Daytona. Let's take a look at this finish here. You can, you can see already uh, Cole Custer gets spun by uh, Johnson. Guess he didn't expect a big push coming from him. And then teammates spin. No idea what happened there. And then Johnson gets involved late. And then the remaining Stuart Haas driver, uh, uh, Eric Almarola, tried his best. He was trying to keep the side draft going. 
on uh, Alex Bowman and keeping Jones from getting any any push on him. And it could have been enough. We don't know. And there is n it is now confirmed that Eric Almirola is the winner at Daytona and has won the Daytona 500 first season two. So you take a look at the replay uh, for a third and final time. Clint Boyer and Kevin Harvick were just trying to do something. Oh, it looks like Kevin Harvick actually kind of turned his teammate there, and Jones finished off uh, Kevin Harvick as Johnson got involved late in that. And what about that? His first career win in the AAPCS. How about that for Eric Amarola? He's going to be able to burn it down here at Daytona. And look at how close that finish was. The closest Daytona 500 finish in the series. And he started 20th uh, in today's field. And he also, his lowest position that he had was, tw was 27th. And we take a look at your standings already. Eric Amarola is taking this lead away. Uh, taking a lead as we see uh, Brandon gone in 9th. But he will not keep that uh, for long as a uh, race will be coming up. And uh, Ty Dillon in 21st with Nemechek right there in 22nd. Timmy Hill finished uh, 24th. Uh, well, these are these should be the finishing results, but things can shake up. We uh, will have to find out. But Ryan Blaney fit in 40th in points right now with Ryan Newman in 39th. And uh, Brendan Poole rounding out the standings as he DNF'd. He was one of the first drivers. To, he, he was the first driver to DNF. And we look at your uh, finish. Your finishing results, uh, it says standings, but it is the race results. Uh, we see Eric Amarola has won the race. Alex Bowman in second, and Eric Jones right there in third. Uh, a great run for that for uh, the 20 team, as they did not have a really good season number one. But a uh, pretty good finish for them. And uh, Kevin Harvick, your defending series champion, finishing 30th today. That is not a, that is not a good finish for Kevin Harvick. But uh, Jimmy Johnson, uh, Clint Boyer, Joey Logano, Bubba Wallace, Martin Tricks Jr., Matthew Bedetto, all of those other drivers. Ryan Blaney, last Daytona 500 season winner. But it is a super speedway. But, you know, it's only the first race of the season. And you know what? Next race is going to be at Las Vegas.